This is called the four cone drill. Okay, the reason I have it is we have two different types of movement in tennis. A turn and drive move, which presents us to the ball quickly, and then a shuffle move. Okay, so that they're practicing two different movements, yet they're still practicing the skill, forehand, backhand, etc., and then the position of the feet to align to set up and execute the shot. So on the outside cones, it's our turn and drive. They, they move forward to the ball as soon as they see it come out, while the inside or center two cones are, are set up in a shuffle format as the feet move differently for those as they do for the outside portion or the outside two cones. And that's why we call it a four cone drill. It encompasses two types of movement, turn and drive and shuffle. Now you could do this drill with, we happen to have four players today, you could do this with eight players while, while four, two players in, uh, a player in each cone is waiting on deck, shuffling or bouncing. You could do this with 16 players, okay, where you have uh, four in each line and then they're doing the same types of movement and it only requires somebody either feed two balls or in my case I'm using a ball machine to set two balls there for the players to execute. Sally's demonstrating a run around forehand, while Maria's demonstrating the turn and drive to the ball. Turn and drive to the ball. Now that's a different movement than it is the shuffle. So notice it's a four cone exercise, and all four players are actively involved in the practice. just space and training. That's all we're doing, setting up space and for the players to execute. And that way I can keep all my players active, even at a very, very high level, which these players are. Um, so that's, that's uh, just a good way to manage your court. In tennis, we have um, three portions of a court. We have the three alleys I explained earlier, the outside portion and the, the middle alley and then the outside alley, okay? So we have three alleys, okay? There are three portions of the court that are divided into sections which are front to back, okay? So this portion of the court from the service line forward is considered in tennis the front court. From here, from the service line all the way back is considered the back court. Now, we've drawn three imaginary lines. We put imaginary line about three feet in front of the service line all the way across the court. From this portion of the court forward, I'm gonna give you the letter K for kill zone or put away zone. Okay, so we have K in this portion of the court. Okay, three feet in front of the service line, which is this line, okay, and three feet behind, this six foot portion of the court is considered the attack zone. That means the door is open for the player to come to net and volley, approach, uh, come forward to, to try to get into the attack zone, okay, uh, or the kill zone, all right? And then the last portion of the court where the imaginary line starts here all the way to the back is considered the defensive portion of the court. So we have KAD, kill, attack, defense. These zones dictate to you, one, your shot selection, two, when it is appropriate to run to net. Because sometimes players run in and they don't understand position, uh, court position, and then that execution. So we have to define it in these zones. And they're called kill, attack, and defense. This is the attack zone where the first volley is taken. And their goal when they come in and they're feeding the ball underhand intentionally is to practice their split step the timing of their split step, and the execution of the first ball, which is typically taken in the attack zone. So we're gonna have the player make the volley here. And the player on that side, we have four players on the court, will be executing the return of that shot to give this player a chance to execute the first volley. Okay, so this is what the exercise looks, at, looks like, and the name of this drill is called the first volley, okay?
All right, ladies, go. Good. Okay. Now they, they feed the ball underhand, run in, split step as the ball bounces on that side, so they get the timing of the split, okay, and then try and set their feet so they can organize for the first ball. Now notice that the players right now in this exercise are only practicing and focusing on one shot, making the first ball. Um, another way you can vary this exercise is you could have six or eight players here going behind each other, switching sides of the court. They're playing the ball straight ahead where the alley portion of the court counts. And the goal that I have is to have them stop, set up, and execute that first shot, like I explained earlier. So we could have eight, ten people in this line doing this exercise while these two are practicing uh, the defensive skills uh, or the return of the, first, of the first ball. Okay, and the variation would be that they actually play out the point. Come on, you guys, play the point now. They're going to play the point out straight ahead with the volleyer in front of them. And this way you don't have any challenges on a, on a uh, you know, somebody getting injured trying to hit the ball straight. And again, we're working on front court skills and transition for these players. That's the goal that they have. And this is the first progression or step we use to teach serve, uh, serve and volley. we flip flop the roles of the players. So this side becomes the defensive side and the other side now becomes the attacking volleyer or first volley uh, practice. So this side, is their job is to get it back and play it out with the person in front of them. So there's two specific sets of skills. One are defensive skills or backcourt near the defensive portion, the letter D. And one set of skills is the front court portion, which is the kill attack zone area uh, around the service line and forward. 